Alright guys, I am back, and I am here to play some draft. Let's do it. Let's win. Let's destroy some people in a magical draft. Should be pretty exciting. I mean, stack it didn't turn out perfectly. I know I was kind of bashing it during deck building, but at the same time, I have enough cards to kill people. Do I keep this hand? I think so. There's a reasonable chance that um, I draw the land on time. And if I draw one land, then I can be okay for a couple of turns. To be honest, I want to be drawing six to get to ill-tempered. But I could definitely still win games if I don't. I could also draw Sylvan Karyatid, which would be nice. But All right. Ready to go. He kept his seven. And it's time to battle. All right. Got the land. Already things are going well for me, right? Next turn we get to play Nessian Cursor. Better than Bow of Nile at this point, considering I'm a little short on land, so I'll play Bow if I need Death Touch. Bow plus Coordinate Assault, that's a pretty nice combo I didn't really see. Uh, did not get the next land. That's cool though. Still have a pretty good play in Agent of Horizons. And hopefully, we'll draw another land next turn. If not, we're still looking okay. Okay, how much is that? Oh, just Annihilator's Disciple, sure. Alright, Mountain. So, I can definitely attack here. I expect a trade. Um, I think I'm fine with it. I could gain some tempo if I want, but I don't really have a good play this turn outside of that, so I think I'd rather just play this Boiling Miniature. I know that I could have played Coordinated Assault and Bow, but I think this is a little bit better. I mean, I, instead of just playing my turn and having both my guys, I could de deploy another threat, and since I really just am stacked on cards at this point, I think that that's an advantage. And um, I can do the same play this turn, but instead of, like, so he's going to think that he can just eat my Agent of Horizons, but I can just uh, gain extra value off of it. So, um, very good play for me. Now I have Bow of Nylia. And I mean, there are definitely cards that you could have. Sea God's Revenge would slow me down a, a, a decent amount because I can only deploy one threat per turn. But at the same time, we're looking pretty good here. Especially since I can start putting counters on my stuff. So he can trade there if he wants. Um, and a Leaf Crown Dryad, sure. So he can't trade there, which is good for me. Unfortunately, okay, so yeah, this turn I'll just be used playing combat tricks, I think, if he does block each of them, which, I mean, he's, he's probably going to make that block. Um, I don't think he's going to make, oh, he's probably going to make that block. He did not block anything. Sure. Uh, yeah. Works for me. That must mean that he's got a Sea God's Revenge in hand. Because I can't imagine any other line of play that involves not at least trading Agent of Horizons. So, I mean, we think that he has Seeing as Revenge. It doesn't look like he can play it here. Okay, I, I mean, that's somewhat reasonable. The good thing is if I draw land, I can threaten Monstrous. But I don't have to. Uh, I can threaten monsters by playing that guy out. No, I can't. Um, okay. Wow, he just conceded. <laughs> sure. So my opponent was playing green, and he had a lot of creatures, so Hunt the Hunter seems like something that I want to be doing. Uh, he was also playing blue, so maybe Shredding Wind should come in. I saw one target for it. But I don't think we can actually, in good faith, bring that in just yet. And I probably don't want all of this junk at the top end. Um, maybe I do. I mean, it's pretty. It's been. It, it looked pretty good there. Port and Betrayal looked very good there. Okay. I guess let's consider all the options. So we could bring back in the Prowler's Helm. What? What was bad? Maybe. These guys, no, they seem to trade up for most of his creatures. He had some 3-3s, three but 
for the most part. Uh, Rage of Perforo seems good. Battlemaster and Stone Charger Warrior are both good. Uh, the Minotaurs, maybe not as good. Considering he had a bunch of three power dudes. So let's see, is there something that we can bring in instead of one of those guys? It'd have to be another creature, because I don't really want to skimp on any more creatures. Um, no, you know what, I think I, I, I actually would. Like, maybe a point of betrayal, but I, again, I don't want to go down too much on creatures. So he just brought in a card. He didn't even take one out. Interesting. Uh, this is obviously a keep. I have four lands. I don't have double green, which could be relevant. But there we go, I have double green. And now I have enough lands. I don't really need to draw any more for a while. I, I said I don't need to draw any more. So, I mean, this is obviously not going so well. The fact that he hasn't done anything yet is good. The fact that I have drawn three lands in a row is not good. <laughs> Because I mean I don't know what kind of what his land situation is, but I can imagine that it's not as bad as mine right now. So if he allows me to trade here, I'll trade. Um, there's no real reason for me to let him keep his um, thing that can be unblockable where mine can't. And uh, man, this is just unfortunate right now. I need to uh, I need to get a series of some top decks going. Maybe like an ill-tempered or even a Perforosis emissary would be pretty good. Okay, so he got the time to feed off before I could get mine off. So <laughs> that's pretty funny because if I were on the play, then I would probably just be like way ahead. Whereas since he was on the play, he's way ahead. It really sucks that he didn't like try and play a five drop here because then I could have time to feed it on him. Rage of Perforos is a is a reasonable draw here for our first non non land of the game. Borderland Minotaur is good enough. We just need we need some stuff here. Unfortunately, I mean it would have been nice if there was another land on top so I could scry one away, but send our battlemaster, sure. We're gonna play ourselves a Borderland Minotaur. Pretend we have lightning strikes so he doesn't do anything. <laughs> now um Nimbus Naiad, that'd be pretty bad. There's a lot of things that would be bad. Basically, anything to target this is very difficult for me to win from. Okay, so he's got an 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, and he's at 26. So, like, the best way for me to win is to put some more power on the board, maybe get um, a Perforosis Emissary going, survive one more turn. Nope, oh, not going to survive another turn. <laughs> I was about to say, and then we could port in a betrayal and steal it or something. Time to feed, time to feed. Okay, um. Sure, we'll pass the turn and we'll block. But, yeah, my opponent had some pretty, pretty good cards here. So, I mean, it looks like his deck is really good. It's gonna be an interesting final game. Okay, so. He's giving me a chance here. Oh, if he doesn't have another creature though. That would be sick if I could actually come back. No, okay. Concede. Um if I had like Port in a Betrayal to steal it, then Savage Surge time to feed. Like there was there was a small possibility that I could have come back and won that one. Um, so we don't really want fade into antiquity. Uh, maybe we just want this Seder Rambler to start the beatdowns earlier than like a Borderland Minotaur. And then instead of Rage of Perforos, uh, Portent of Betrayal, so that I have two of them, because like he's definitely going to be making a giant threat. <laughs> That's his goal. All right, so we got a mulligan this one, unfortunately. All right, so <laughs> looks like they're just fucked. Yeah, that really sucks. I mean, like, whether or not we would have lost this game anyway is, is questionable. Like, obviously, it depends on the game, but, I mean, sometimes you just mulligan into oblivion and get raped. Like get destroyed. It's just, this is a disappointing one. 
Um, I thought that our, our decks matched up pretty interestingly, but I mean, I don't know. I guess it's not over over. If he's smart, he should just stay back and block and trade. Because there's no real reason for him to um, there's there's no real reason for him to try and push an advantage. He should just out card me, and then eventually he'll win, or eventually, yeah, eventually he'll win because I don't ha I can't have as many resources as he has. Okay, but he has a Nessian cursor anyway. So um, we're just gonna attack. There's a good chance that he doesn't block here because I, I I'm leaving stuff open, and I've already played at least one pump spell this game. So. Yeah, and you got an Essian Asp. But it's just he's got five cards in hand and I've got nothing. I need if I draw a coordinated assault, that could be very good. Not not just because of the um the value in terms of card advantage that I'll get, and it'll probably be a two for one, but uh Do I block here? I, let's see, if I take, yeah, I could take six going down to 11. Let's see, I'm hitting him for nine, for eight. Uh, there's nothing that he could play that I can just port in a betrayal and kill him next turn, but. I mean, I'm getting pretty close to that point. Uh, reaching Hippocamp? What does he have? Time to feed. Sure. What are you doing, bud? You gotta gain your three. That's pretty, I mean, that's still pretty good because the two for one doesn't matter since he's up four cards anyway in post-combat order of Nylia. That's a questionable one. Alright, so, man, if he had just put that on like a Centaur Battlemaster, maybe. Maybe we'd have an out. But, I guess that's pretty good. I mean, no, definitely should not have held back. Prescient Chimera. Well, there's a leaf crown dryad. So I can survive to fight another turn. Um, he's almost out of cards. I can only live one more turn because he can just give this thing unblockable twice and kill me. Um, I can't bestow this and then attack with both. I can bestow this and then just attack with this. But I kind of want to just attack with both. Um, hopefully he won't block here. I doubt he will. Take him to nine and then just have the possibility to draw a port and a betrayal off the top. All right, let's do it. But I really doubt he's going to block here. Okay, thank god. Unfortunately, I can't bestow this here. Alright, dude. What you got? Like, any bounce spell just kills me on the spot. But if he attacks with both and plays a creature out, then I win if I draw a port in a betrayal. But any pump spell or any, well, I guess not, not Warrior's Lesson, that doesn't kill me here, but there's so much that just kills me. What did he do? Activated Agent of Horizon's ability. If he's got nothing else, then I can just win. <laughs> 
Horn of Betrayal? No! Oh, God. Now we just gotta attack and hope he does not see that I can monstrous the Nessian Asp. I mean, I had to play the land out so I could do it, but... We were so close, guys. So close. I guess he couldn't have really attacked with... <sighs> yeah, he couldn't have attacked... I couldn't... Maybe I should have played that a little bit differently. Maybe I should have held back the Stone Charted Warrior so that he could have attacked into it. No. That wouldn't have been good. Either way, um... I think that was pretty good for a mole of five, putting myself live to two cards in my deck. Or actually, Savage Surge was also just a win, right? Yeah, I would have won. No, because I wouldn't have been able to play the land out. Let's see, was I... No! Oh my god, no. On a mole to four, I was live to my next card. I mean, I don't know if he had anything in hand. Um, he, I doubt he did, because he probably he would have just played it the turn before and won. But, that's crazy. Anyway, um, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that draft, and have a wonderful day. Bye.